Hello and thank you for joining me in this video for eye cell disease. Eye cell disease stands for inclusion disease, which is the inability of cells to send digestive enzymes and other protein to, to lysosomes. This results in a big buildup of residues inside the cell. Normally, the Golgi apparatus tag proteins and digestive enzymes that are sent to the lysosome by adding mannose 6 phosphate. When a defect happens in N acetylglucosamine 1-phosphotransferase, the Golgi apparatus fails to tag proteins. As a result, Digestive enzymes and proteins are transported outside the cell, leading to high lysosomal substances in serum. While cell debris build up inside the cell, causing inclusion bodies. Examiners will mostly refer to eye cell disease as the following scenario. A child has been brought to the pediatrician, he's underweight, he has a short neck, a depressed nasal bridge, he has difficulty in moving and skeletal developing, and most importantly, a coarse facial features. Also, patient may present gendival hyperplasia and corneal clouding. To confirm your diagnosis, you need to check for inclusion body in vacuoles and lymphocytes, you need to check for low and acetyl glucosamine 1-phosphotransferase enzyme activity in the either in the immunotic fluid for the prenatal or in the blood for the postnatal also you can check for the high serum lysosomal enzymes with normal urinalysis this is a high yield topic you need to know because in the Harler or Hunter syndrome the glycoaminoglycans is high in the urine, so it's not normal urinalysis. Unfortunately, there is no cure for eye cell disease, but the management should be symptomatic and supportive with physical therapy, 